instead of just calculating an IBS score percentage, IBD focuses on using this IBS in a particular order on your chromosomes. It helps you determine which piece, which piece of the chromosome came from, from who in your family. For example, let's think about the chromosome pieces you inherited from your grandparents. Here we have your grandmother's chromosomes and your grandfather's chromosomes. Now, your mother has her own set of chromosomes. She got half from her mother and half from her father. Half from your grandmother, half from your grandfather. Now, when your mother's germ cells went through meiosis to make eggs, recombination allowed her chromosomes to mix and match the grandparental chromosomes, her parental chromosomes, so that when you inherited a set of chromosomes from your mother, you got this interesting mix of your grandparents. Now, you could do the same thing for your father. And we could add up how much each grandparent contributed to each chromosome. And you'll see that it's roughly 25%, right? Here you have half of your chromosomes came from mom. And of those half, you'll notice that the blue segments represent about half of that. So total, 25% came from each grandparent. If you and a grandparent actually participate in a service like 23andMe, you can see exactly which segments of the chromosomes you share with the grandparent and the fact that you're roughly 25% related to each other. Although the individual sizes and chunks of the segments that you may share with the grandparent can vary, roughly speaking you'll be about 25% related through IBD to a grandparent.